So from here, wow, <laughs> it looks very beautiful. What? Hello everyone, welcome back to another video, one of my favorite kinds, because I'm going to show you another amazing station here in Shenzhen. This is Dayun Station and it's part of a multi-transportation system connecting three lines currently with four different districts in Shenzhen. Shenzhen is a huge city and of course has a massive subway system. So today we're going to be checking these wonderful stations that is part of the 369 station that Shenzhen Metro has. So come with me and explore this station. This is Dayun Station, a huge, beautiful, massive subway station that is connecting now three lines. Recently, a few weeks ago, they just opened line 14 and 16 that is joining line 3 that was previously operating in this place. So as you can see, it's beautiful, big, massive, spacious, clean and modern. I have a question for some of you. Here in China, having escalators connecting indoors with outdoors is very common and actually we can see here this big escalator connecting the underground station to the outside world but many people in my previous video commented that how is possible to have an outdoor escalator i'm not sure since the point of view of design architectural design technical design is that does that make sense or or what or it shouldn't be like that i believe if it rains or for outdoor conditions it's prepared to face those kind of situations so if it's raining, it should be waterproof, right? I don't know, I'm really just guessing. But here in China, it's absolutely common in shopping malls, in subway stations, everywhere you see escalators from downstairs, indoors, to the outside world. So you guys let me know if you know the answer in the comments down below. This is a hybrid type of subway station. Underground, we have line 14 and 16, and upstairs on the third floor, we have line three. We are now using one of the escalators. As you can see, we have three rows just to go upstairs. And then you have on the other side, three more escalators to go down. This is a massive, huge structure. As I told you, connecting three different lines. So we're now going to the main part on the top where it's passing through line number three. And actually how important this station is, is because it's not in the main downtown of the city. It's the, in the outside part in Longan district. So you can see how beautiful it is. It feels like we're going outdoor, but it's still a covered part of the station. And now we're gonna reach that part where Line 3 is passing through. Today it's Saturday, it's weekend. There are not a lot of people in this station. So usually on weekdays, there will be a lot, a lot of people commuting and using the different lines that are passing through this station. So from here, wow, <laughs> it looks very beautiful. Wow, look at this. <laughs> this is like the entrance, one of the entrances for a subway station. Can you believe it? I mean, throughout the time, Shenzhen is improving more and more the design of the infrastructure here. Before, when I came here seven years ago, it was very simple underground stations. Now you can see they're investing more resources on getting more practical, beautiful, technological infrastructure like this wonderful station here. You can see there is a big atrium here covering the whole thing. 
and you can see also there is a lot of work still to do here. You can see here some parts are still covered because as I told you, this is a station that just opened a few days ago actually. So I wanted to come here the first few days, but there's a lot of people coming here for taking a look when a station like this just opened. But as you can see, there's still a few touches, a few details to finish in this station. So I believe maybe in just a few more days it will be done, but it's wonderful. Something also very remarkable of this station, that this is uh, Line 3, right? So this station or this part of the station was built 10 years ago. So in the meantime, while the line was still working, they were building this huge roof that you can see here because that was not here. So they managed somehow that keep improving the facilities and the infrastructure without disturbing or stopping the functioning of the line. So people were still commuting and using the Line 3 while a lot of things were going on around and this is the result. We have a renewed, more beautiful, more practical, more spacious station that uses Line 3. Something that really got my attention of this particular station, same like in Gansha North, the previous video I made, is the design. The way they match materials, colors, we have glass, we have steel, uh, we have this beautiful way of combining kind of minimalistic station with that small color accent in the middle. I think it's absolutely beautiful. It's something that nowhere else in the world you can see, to be honest. As you can see, Shenzhen is a city that never stops, building new projects, airport, train stations, subway systems. If you want to see more like this, let me know in the comments down below. Let me know also what you think about this video and this station. If you want me to go to all these new places that Shenzhen and China is building all around the country, do let me know. Remember also to subscribe to my channel, like the video, hit the bell button so you don't miss the next video that is coming soon in my channel. Jiju, yao yi xian jia, what? Jiju, yi jian san lian. And with that, I will see you in the next one. Bye bye. Folks, I'm gonna be wandering around nice and beautiful places here in China and documenting about it. I will also be Instagramming my day to day and my trips in this awesome country. Feel free to follow me and leave your comments and impressions over there about life in China. I will leave the link to my account in the description down below. Remember to like the video, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so you don't miss any of my follow-up stories about what's going on in this part of the world. If you think there might be someone else interested in these kind of videos, please consider sharing. My name is Rafael, thanks for watching and stay safe until next time.